Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and did the repeat for 2024 this year. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure this 2010 Nissan X-Trail that just came in. It is four-wheel drive capable and it is approaching 97,000 kilometers, which is about 60,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get your sofa driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end, you have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan X-Trail is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two options to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Two things I want to show you before I go outside. First one being the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. you got to keep this dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover. Or, if you want to keep it simple, just get a larger size bath towel or a beach towel, lighter in color, and drape that across uh, the dash. The second part is, it does have the roof rack uh, slots here. You want to put roof rack or crossbar, it's very easy to do. I'm not sure if I said it, but this, uh, this one is just coming in. It's actually pretty clean. It's really clean. All right, key fob on your purse. You're just going to crank this over. There it is. As if the key was in there. If this key fob battery dies, you can slide this over, and this comes out like a regular key, and you insert it in there. All right, that doesn't... That sounds like the AC fan is gurgling a little bit. All right, so you hear that little humming? The little humming is there's something wrong with the fan or there's something caught inside that's making a sound. So we'll definitely get that taken care of. All right, again, it's just coming in. 96,664 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Let's start with the orange one. Obviously the gas, I, I, like I said, it just came in, so we need to put some fuel in there. Uh, that one right there is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And this one over here, that is your emergency brake. Uh, this one is a um, hand brake, so when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. I think pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Off the left here on top of the dash, you do have a, a compartment for storage. You have storage under, uh, I'm sorry, above and under the radio. Then you have the radio itself. This one does have a rear camera. Sorry, really bad glare. Air, uh, air conditioning controls, power outlet, little uh, tray here, a cup, tr cup here uh, for coins and whatnot. This is where you're going to select your four-wheel drive. It does have heated seats in the front. It looks like in the back as well. And this is the uh, uh, parking assist on the hill. All right? On an incline, I guess. Um, it, there's your shifter. The handbrake, as I told you about. Cup holders. And then you do have a center armrest slash console. That's going to give you some extra uh, uh, storage space down here. Continue to the left. You have your two-tier uh, glove box. Okay? And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm good I'm good right where I am, or I can slide it up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. And then you do have a compartment for your sunglasses up here. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level. See, almost all the hood on this one. All the way back. Now, normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on, on all the cars. We can for each one. Um, 
but because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm gonna put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that'll try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. But I'll show you a couple other things before you go to the back seat. So it looks like it does have an aftermarket dash cam there. On the left side of the steering wheel right here, this is an ETC reader, an electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then you do have a cup holder on each side of the dash. Okay. <clears throat> and then you do have your hood release uh, way down here. Okay. On the door panel, you have your uh, mirror, door lock, and window controls right here. So let's, uh, let me see. And it does have uh, cruise control as well if you're on the expressway a lot. All right, so let's uh, turn that off. Set to the back seat here. Alrighty. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down about a half inch away from the back seat to my knees, each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you want to put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. It does have the all important vents back here. You definitely want to make sure this tab is up. If it's down, you're not getting any airflow. All the way up, you're getting the airflow. Um, also, you want to make sure that these are angled up a little bit, and this is facing a little to the left, this is facing a little right. This way it's going to help cool down the car a lot quicker. Then you do have a center armrest that comes down. You do have to pull this up, and it comes down, it will stay level, which I like. But you also have to, when you're putting it up, you have to pull this out again and push this in. Now there are tabs on here, on each side, okay? I'm going to explain that to you as I'm getting out. And it does have a little bit of storage on each door panel. So if you want to put these seats down and let, make them level to the back, you're going to pull on that tab. This is going to come up and it's going to uh, go to a 90 degree angle. You're going to take this headrest right off and this is going to come down and lay down flush. This way you have the whole uh, back plus these seats laying down flush and flat. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, we can show you. Here's your rear space. Looks like the all well, the floor mats are back here. Okay. Now this one does have a drawer. So normally they only have the one drawer, so uh, this is fortunate it has the other drawer. Many do not, so I believe this is just an option, uh, but most people only have the, the one drawer on the right. But you can also do it like a grab and go as well, all right? And it does have the, the hard plastic on the back of the seat, so when you're putting those seats forward, you have something uh, in here that might mess up cloth seats. Obviously, that's not going to mess it up. You do have an extra power outlet back here as well. Let's go to the front. So the engine compartment, we're going to wrap this video up. Oops, I forgot. Didn't I pull that? I thought I pulled that, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do an oldie but goodie uh, a trick to this. So I have to put the phone down, but basically the latch is stuck. It's not uh, popping the hood open. So I'm going to pull the hood. I'm sorry, I'm going to pull the lever here. I'm just going to hit the hood one time like a slap and look, it opens up. Mechanic told me that a long time ago. I'm sure it's nothing brilliant, but it definitely works. All right, and there you have it. It's a two liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. That is very hot. Jeez, that was really hot. All right, yes, two, two liter engine, which uh, will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you have it. Uh, 2010 Nissan X-Trail four wheel drive capable that just came in. Almost 97,000 kilometers on it. What'd you get? About 60,000 miles. Military prices at 6,600. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6400 Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6400 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing I thought will be your American insurance requirement. That's whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. You as dollars cash out right, or take advantage of zero percent finance for twenty four months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and uh, uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.